Welcome to more getaways with Noel. In today's video, we will explore a charming seaside resort town with Edwardian style in the southern part of Cumbria. This is Grange Over Sands. Grinch Over Sands is a small town located on the north side of Morecambe Bay in Cumbria, England and south of the Lake District National Park, about 7 miles from Windermere. The town center can be explored on foot from the train station and its surrounding areas is an ideal place for nature enthusiasts. The town has several parks for people to enjoy and explore, such as this ornamental garden near the train station. The garden has a Victorian influence appearance with a fountain at the center, as well as having a variety of plants. There is also a high population of birds, particularly in the pond. The pond is the dominant feature of the garden with a small island for the birds to breed. I noticed different species of ducks on the pond, such as mallard to the rather colorful mandarin along with a few tarns that may came from the adjacent sea. The gardens are well looked after and there is a bird identification board to help you recognize some of the species. You can walk along the pond and find several walkways leading to the town center. The town center is on a hill so you will expect an even slopes in some parts while walking. There are several shops, hotels, cafes and restaurants should the need arise. This is the Anglican Parish Church of St. Paul built between 1852 to 1853 and belongs to the Windermere Deanery of the Carlyle Diocese in Cumbria. More additions were made in the 1870s with further improvements made in the 1930 and 1950s. It was Reverend Rig, vicar of the church, who suggested that the town name be changed to Grange Oversands to avoid confusion with Grange in Borrowdale. Just like other towns in Cumbria, most buildings are made from local stone and slate roof tiles, and a few examples of this architecture are found on the main street. As you walk south past the clock tower, you will find more shops as well as a small car park which is handy if you will go to the promenade. Towards the south of the town is a pleasant ornamental park called Park Road Gardens. The focal point of the gardens is the cast iron bandstand which was moved from its original location on the promenade when the gardens were created in 1930s. A short walk past the Park Road Gardens is a sign showing the way to the promenade. This is one of a few ways onto the promenade and will only take about 3 minute walk before reaching the footbridge. The footbridge is crossing over the train tracks and gives you a nice panoramic view over the bay. Overlooking from the footbridge is a wide and long view of the promenade and the estuary of the River Kent, straight across the wide expanse of Morecambe Bay. Between the promenade and open water is a wide band of wet, muddy vegetation and you may see some different species of birds, shellfish and crustaceans. However, please avoid walking beyond the railings as it can be very dangerous. This is the southern part of the promenade and here you will find a cafe, a playground as well as the disused Lido. The first promenade was built in the late 1860s on the land side of the railway line between the station and the ornamental gardens. However, the promenade as seen today was built in the early 1900s and was used to cover the town's new sewage system. 
in a similar way as had been done with the embankments in London. There are play and exercise facilities and recreational grounds along the length of the promenade. The flower beds were established in around 1910 and were designed and planted by Council's head gardener, Anthony Benson. The purchasing of the land from the Duchy of Lancaster and the cost of work was paid by local benefactor Harold Poirot. Harold, known as JP, was from a wealthy textile family and member of the Urban District Council. The funds provided by JP were also covered the cost of a tea room, shelters, and the bandstand which is now located in Park Road Gardens. While you walk around the town and the promenade, keep an eye out for the decorative cast iron benches which features a red squirrel and grapes. These are leftover features from the Furness Railway Line station which ran between 1846 and 1923. The promenade is now one of the main attractions of the town and welcomes hundreds of visitors to have a walk, skate, run and exercise and with its amenities it has something for everyone. The garden beds add a delightful and colorful scenery, especially when the flowers are in bloom and complements the view across the bay. There are also sitting areas for those who just want to watch the day as it goes by or while eating your favorite snacks. Grange Oversands is definitely worth visiting to enjoy a pleasant Edwardian style town and with a walk along the promenade, the feel of a seaside village. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more getaways with Noelle.